Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will look into lead code problem number 626 exchange seats, which is marked as medium. I will show you two different ways how to handle conditions in this problem, so you can pick one that you like better. One will be using subquery and another one window function. We will also show how the order of the conditions in the case statement matters, which is another trap in this lead code problem. So if this sounds interesting, follow me. We are given the table name seat. ID is the primary key unique value column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the name and the ID of a student. ID is a continuous increment. Write a solution to swap the seat ID of every two consecutive students. If the number of students is odd, the ID of the last student is not swapped. Return the result table ordered by ID in ascending order. The result format is in the following example. So we can see that in the given example, student Abbott and Doris exchanged their IDs, and now Doris sits at seat number one and Abbott two. Emerson, who was sitting at seat number three, is now having a seat number four and so on. James is missing a pair because five is an odd number, so he remains in a seat five. And below we can see explanation. We already mentioned it. Note that if the number of students is odd, there is no need to change the last one seats. This task is actually very easy. All we need to do here is to calculate this new seat ID column and resort the table according to it. Let's look for a moment at the new seat ID column that I just added. We can see that for the first person in a pair, we need to add one to current seat number to obtain a new one. And for the second person, we need to deduct one. And for the person without a pair, ID stays the same. So we have the formulas for new IDs. Now let's define the conditions. How do we identify first and second person in each pair? The first person in pair has ID which equals one, three, five, and so on. So it is an odd number. We can use modulo to identify those. ID modulo two equals one for odd numbers. For even numbers, it will be ID modulo two equals zero. Instead of writing like this, you can also use a function mod. This function takes two arguments. The first one is value that is being divided, and the second one is a divisor. This will work with MySQL, but not Microsoft SQL Server. The more generic approach is the first one that I displayed here, and it works for both. We also need to handle the last line separately. Notice it will not have a pair, only if it's an odd number, so the condition here will be ID modulo 2 equals 1, and at the same time it will be the last ID in a table, so max ID. Or instead of the max ID, you can also use window function lead if you don't want to use subquery. The result for this function for last row would equal null, as this is the only row that don't have next ID following it. I visualized it here for you. I think we are done with explanation. Now let's go to SQL, which will be pretty straightforward as we have all of the components needed to build our query. Every time we deal with conditions in SQL, it's obviously case statement. So let's write select case when. The first condition that we will put must be the one for last row. Why? Because it's the most restrictive one. We always should evaluate the most restrictive one first and then all the others. So I will put here ID modulo two equals one and ID equals select maximum ID from seat table. Second condition will be for all other odd numbers. So when ID modulo two equals one, then formula for our new ID is going to be ID plus one. And the third one for everything else, which is for even numbers. And obviously for else, we don't need to specify the condition. Now coming back to the order of the conditions in the case statement. It does matter. You can see that if we put the condition for the last row as a second one in our code, as our last row meets also the criteria for odd numbers. So if we swap those two, we would return ID plus one incorrectly. So please be careful here, the order in case statement matters. We will alias it as ID as they require from seat and order by ID. Let's run it. Perfect. We can also run it in Microsoft SQL. It works as well. 
If you don't like subquery approach, you can use window function lead as I mentioned. Let's replace subquery here with lead ID over order by ID is null. Still runs. And last but not least, you can replace ID modulo 2 with mod function, taking in ID as the first argument and 2 as the second. But remember, this will not work for Microsoft SQL, only for MySQL. It will fail in Microsoft SQL Server as this function is not registered. In general, it's always good to know more generic approach, so you can handle it in different query engines. There are two things that you should take away from this lead code problem. One is knowing how to identify odd and even numbers. Once you know how to do it, such problems as this one become super easy to handle. And another one is that the order of the conditions in the case statement matters. That's it from this video. If you are interested in seeing similar content, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video soon.